This video covers how to delete backed up data. So if I want to delete some of the data that I've backed up um, in the past, I can do that easily by going to the place where I backed those up. So the, click the device, click on a backup date, and I can choose to either, I could put a checkbox here and say delete selected, and it would delete this folder and all the files underneath of it for this date, right? So I clicked on this date, and that's, it, that's what delete, delete selected would do. Okay, and it's going to prompt you to make sure you want to do that before you do it because you're deleting data. If I wanted to delete this C folder, or even let's just say something smaller, this DVL file here, from all dates, I would check that file and I would say delete selected from all dates. Again, you're going to get prompted to make sure you really want to do that. And what that would do is it would delete this file from this date that I'm in, as well as this one, this one, this one, and any other dates you had. So essentially all dates like it says. I could also just delete a specific backup date. So say this oldest backup date, maybe my retention is a little long and I have too many files. I could go to click on this backup date and I could say delete entire. And what that's gonna do is any file or folder that got backed up that date is gonna get deleted. So I would click it. Again, I'm gonna get prompted and I would click okay. So basically you can delete any set of files in pretty much any way you want. You can delete a single file just by clicking and selecting it and then saying delete selected. You can also do more than one file. If I were to navigate into here, I could say, you know, I can select multiple things as you can see. And if I said delete selected, it would delete these five files. Okay, so just so you know, it's more, you can't click more than just one file or folder. You can also delete these from all five of these from all dates, or I could delete an entire data set. So that's how you would delete files out of your backup account.